These videos are coming very soon. Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, and Galaxy Note 2 Zero Limit Extended Batteries. This video is going to be on the Anchor 2.4 gigahertz wireless solar keyboard. This is pretty freaking awesome because it's solar panel, kind of like a calculator, you know? You don't ever have to worry about putting batteries in it. It's got a tiny little USB thing, kind of like this little Bluetooth thing right here. Did a video on it a while back. This thing's freaking awesome. So yeah, I mean, it's solar panel. It's the biggest benefit to this. So let's go ahead, flip it over and show you the back side of it. You can pause that and read it if you want to. It's up to you. So it's got media player buttons, volume, next track, previous track, pause, play, stop, main page, email, my computer, very cool. So you just press a button, takes you right to your computer. There's the specifications. It's got a built-in lithium battery, so you don't have to worry about charging it, and you don't have to necessarily always be, you know, in direct sunlight, or not sunlight, but light in general to have a working keyboard, so it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Let's see what this thing looks like. So that comes out in one piece, and this can get thrown away. Or, you know, saved if you happen to save your uh, boxes. And then let's go ahead and reveal this keyboard. All right, we'll set this to the side as well. We don't need that. So there's the keyboard. I do like the keys. It's very nice. You've got an instruction manual. Comes with a micro USB cable. Looks like it's... Plenty long, very nice, it's not super short. It looks like this is a book key, like a bookmark for your, you know, books, for those of you that still read books. <laughs> I, I haven't read a book in years. It's sad, I know, but it's true. And then join our power user program. We'd love to hear from you. So yeah, there it is. Let's go ahead and look at the instructions real quick. Give me just a second to look this over, please. Okay, so the micro USB cable is actually for charging instructions if you want to charge the built-in lithium ion battery. That's pretty cool, because you don't actually have to have it in sunlight to charge it. And it's got a little battery thing right here, a little solar panel, little button icon thing. It says, plug the micro USB cable in the corresponding port on the keyboard, and the battery indicator will turn on, indicating an active charge. So it looks like the micro charging port is right here. Just, you know, on the other side of the little icons here. All right, pretty neat. So they hit a little, uh... I love these. I mean, these days it's absolutely unnecessary to have a really big USB thing sticking out the side of your computer that your kid or dog or pet or whatever could, you know, accidentally knock off and break, so. Really, really cool. It's really short. It's got these little things right here to flip it up. You've got a on and off switch right here. And then you just have a little connect button. All right, so for this demonstration, I have this micro USB OTG adapter that fits into micro USB on the bottom of like your phone or tablet or something. And I'm gonna plug this into there like such. And then I'm gonna take this other end and plug it into my Galaxy Note 2. All right, so it does not look like the keyboard has a charge at this time, so I will go ahead and uh, charge it. All right, so I have this plugged into the wall right now. It's a different micro USB cable, but it's still a micro USB cable, as you don't have to use the exact one that it comes with because all micro USB are the same. So we will go ahead and plug it into the bottom here. The little thing's lighting up red right now, letting me know that it's charging. And it's got like a little pulsing flash to it. Or it looked like it did. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and spell J-O-S-H. Nice, so the keyboard is working. Let's go ahead and compose a new tweet real quick.
And then when I'm done, I can just go ahead and press send. And it'll go ahead and post the tweet on Twitter. Tweet on Twitter. <laughs> Sounds funny. And what's pretty cool is I can do this as well. Like, Josh and the dog are going to the store. And then, like, if I want to go ahead and uh, select everything, I can hit Control A and then Backspace. So that's really, really cool. Like, Josh and the dog. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press Control A and then Control C. Copy to clipboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Really, really cool. So that's awesome. Like, I go ahead and type all that. Control A, Control V. Bam. That is friggin' awesome. So let's see something real quick. What if we go ahead and hit FN and then the music? Awesome. So it's asking me if I want to launch play music or anything like that. Go ahead and hit escape. Backs out. Uh, let me go ahead and go to the home screen. I uh, should be able to press window. No. Um... I'll just hit escape. Now I'm back at the desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and do FN and then the volume up. As you can see, I'm turning my ringer down and up. I can go ahead and press play, and it should start playing music. I don't have any on there, so I can hit music. And then I can choose play music always. Now when I go home and I do the FN and the music thing, ah, why are you asking me? All right, so we'll try that one more time. I will hit the FN and the music button. You little punk. But whatever. So I can go to my library. And then when I'm in my library, I'll just go to explore and then... Shuffle. All right, so I can turn that down. It's really loud. And that works fine, as you can see. Let me skip tracks. That works, too. I can stop playing the music. I should be able to go home with this, but yep, there we go. That's what I was looking for earlier. So like if I go to Twitter, I can just hit this and home. It takes me right home. Very, very cool. What if I hit the mail icon? What will that do? It launches my Gmail. Pretty freaking awesome. I'll hit my computer and that course does nothing on Android. What if I hit the print screen button? I'm curious about this. All right, that doesn't have, do anything. All right, so if I hit number lock, I can type from the key from the things as well. So I'll do like Josh is 21 years old. That's cool. That's awesome. Which that's a lie. I'm a little bit older than that, but I'm not 30 yet. <laughs> okay, I guess one more thing we'll try is Josh and the dog were going to the store. And then I could do like home and it takes me to the very first part. And if I hit end, it takes me to that. So I'll just hit home and then delete and it backspaces everything out. And what if I do this? Josh and the dog were going to the store and then I hit home and then I hit insert. And then I start typing Josh. Oh, well, insert doesn't work on Android. But anyways, hopefully you get the idea. This is super, super cool and I'm enjoying it. You don't have to be plugged in. I can unplug it and it should still work a little bit because uh, of the battery that's in it. Yep, it's still working without being plugged in. And obviously it's gonna need to sit in the sun or in some kind of light source for a while. And yeah, so if you're in like a situation where this goes like under something, like you'll have to excuse the mess of my desk. It's pretty bad, but uh, if it's like this where it slides out, and the slides in you'll just want to be careful because obviously if the solar panels underneath that it's not going to ever hit any light until you pull it out and start using it which it's not going to get much of a charge so then you'll definitely want to consider using that usb port for situations like that all in all this is a pretty freaking awesome concept as you can see 
I've got my phone here, my micro USB OTG cable, which I will try to link to these in the description. Been using it for like a year now. I've got another one that I use as well. I love them, love them, love them. I will try to link to these in the description as well as this right here. I will definitely link to this. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it on Anchor's official website. I want to thank Anchor for sending this out for review. I definitely think this is something you should at least check out and, you know, maybe consider because a lot of keyboards require batteries like double A's. And I mean, even if you got this thing fully charged with the lithium ion battery that's in it, you should be able to put it inside a slide out thing. And, you know, whenever you pull it out to actually use it to actually like drain down the battery, you're also charging it if you're in a lit room. So I, it, you know, it just depends on how you're using it, but you're never gonna have to worry about, you know, oh, my double A's are dead. <laughs> and every computer has a USB port on it, or at least it should. And if you don't have a USB port, I mean, everybody has these if they have an Android device or even uh, something other than Android that has a USB port on it that plugs into the wall. So again, links to this will be in the description. Hopefully I'll remember to put links to this USB OTG cable if you're interested in doing that. I mean, you could put it in a computer, of course, which is what it's meant for, and have a... I love this, how small these are. You just take this little thing, put it inside of your computer, and look at that. That's low profile, for sure. You don't even hardly notice it's there, to be honest. I stick this in my backpack all the time with these in it because you don't have to worry about them breaking off because they're just barely, you know, anything there. Very cool stuff. Links to follow me on Twitter, I'm on Twitch, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Vine, I'm on pretty much everything. Just search www.joshdew and I guarantee you'll find me. Oh, and real quick, I do have a second channel, youtube.com slash joshisnice. Links to it have been in the description below, along with my other gaming channel, which, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I have three different channels, check them all out, links to in the description as always. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.